Victoria. Well, it looks like a giant lady's loo, <laughs> are they? Department of Hairdressing and Beauty Therapy. Whatever beauty therapy is when it's at all. Hey, let's have a look at your timetable. Oh, I've got stuff practically every morning and afternoon. I said to her, I said, hey, look, I'm only doing hairdressing me, you know. It's got computers down there. Yeah, but apparently everyone has to do that. Yeah, well, it's mad. I mean, what's computers got to do with doing anybody's hair? Anyway, listen, do you fancy going into town? What, now? Yeah, don't just give me some money. Yeah, but we've only just... I mean, we got classes, ain't you got any classes? Yeah, you do. Yeah, well, I'm supposed to have. But I acted all surprised. I said, oh, I can't start today. I've got to go to the dentist. I've got an appointment. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the reason I'm here is because I want to do this course. Yeah, so do what I'm doing. Start tomorrow. I'm already starting late. I'm going to have to catch up as it is. Oh, don't be so boring. Oh, thanks. Yeah, well, you are. Look, at least I know what I want to do. I thought you wanted to do hairdressing. Why have you even bothered registering? Don't know. You said you were coming, so I thought, all right, I'll come with you. Oh, so where are we going or not? How can I? I've got classes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've heard it all before. Well, I'll tell you what, you do what you're going to do, and I'll do what I want to do. Oh, look, we can go into town after. I don't know what your Canadian girlfriends were like, but over here you don't get second chances. At least with me, you don't. Oh, right. Yeah, I think you're being very brave. Well, hiding how upset you must be at Percy moving. I think I've been very brave for a number of years now. I think that's everything, Mrs. Bishop. I'll put the key on the, on the table, plus a, an handkerchief, uh, which must have got mixed up in the wash because it's not one of mine. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Sugden, and I do hope you're happy in your new home. Well, if I'm half as happy as I've been here, when I get there, that'll do me. Nice of you to say so. Well, I'm not the easiest person to live alongside, I do know that, but you've been very, very kind, and I do want to say how much I've appreciated all you've done. It's been a pleasure having you in the house. Well, I'll say goodbye. Well, goodbye for now. I still hope we're going to see plenty of you. Yes, and so do I. Well, if you'd like to get in the car now, Percy. Uh, I will. I'd just like to have another word with Mrs Bishop, if fine, you don't mind, fine. please. Look, take a little water with it. And then take a little bit more. And, you know, gradually it'll come right, and all you want at the end of that is a cup of tea. I'll bear that in mind. All right, you do. Bye now. Right, Kenneth. <laughs> Upstairs. It's okay. He won't be up for hours. Dad! Mom! Don't worry. I'll go and get him. Herschel, the drive of your life. When it's cold outside, you can still be warm inside with Joe Snow. New chocolate Cornetto. And new orange chocolate Magnum. If you love ice cream, why should winter stop you? The Walls Winter Range. All right, today we're going to talk about the different muscle groups, where they are and what they do or sometimes why they fail to do what they should do. But first, this word muscle. Now, it's a word we use a lot on this course. So what is muscle exactly? And why is it so important when we talk about strength, health and fitness? Excuse me a minute. Yeah? 
May I help you? Um, I just wanted to give a message to Nick. Nick? Do we have a Nick? <laughs> yes, we have a Nick. What's your message? Um, would you just tell him that I'm sorry? The young lady says that she's sorry. <laughs> and that's him tonight? And she'll see you tonight? That's it? Yeah, thanks. My pleasure. Right, as I was saying, now this term muscle, it's one we keep using, but do we really know what it means? Did you get the order? What do you think? He wants to see more samples and more pictures, because that's what he gets off on doing a creep. Oh, I don't know. This just isn't good enough, you know. What? Well, all this whining and dining may be very nice. Nice! But there's a serious purpose behind it. You're supposed to close a deal. Now, if you're not doing that, the whole thing is a complete and utter waste of time. Do you think I wanted to go to lunch with him? Do you think I enjoyed it? I said I'd go if you couldn't handle it. I have handled it. I've just spent the last two hours listening to his life story, smiling at all his pathetic jokes and trying desperately not to smash him over there with a bottle, really wishing I could tell him what I thought of him and despising myself because I can't. Oh, so what you're saying is you're only going to do business with people you like in future, people who share the same views about the environment as you do, banned fox hunting and all that. You don't want to talk to anyone else. Well, if that is what you're saying, we're in for a lean time, a very, very lean time. Where are you going? Out! To get some fresh air. And try to remind myself why, after I've spent a lousy lunchtime listening to one sexist creep, I have to come back here and pour with another! The answer to that is easy, sweetheart. Money. Yeah, but is that a good enough answer? I don't know. That's up to you, darling. Anna was a very lucky girl. He's she not was funny, is he? And happy. Yeah. Huh? She was everyone's favourite. So, I didn't mind you starting late then. No, not as long as a cat show. Mm. Was there anybody else there you knew? Like who? Mates from your old school. Oh, yeah, yeah, one or two. So you weren't on your own all day then? No. Because your mother worries about you, you know. She doesn't want you getting in with the wrong crowd, do you? No, I don't. I don't want to mention any names. But it can all happen too easily. Right, I'll put some tea on. I'm OK. I'm not a kid anymore. I know, Nick. You've got your whole life ahead of you. One mistake now can do so much harm. Who wants some floppy, dude? Me! Come on, floppy. I'm OK. Yeah. Right, OK, then. How many do you want? Are you seeing her tonight? No. Right, you can have two, can't you? Just been home.